Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily run our first PHP 8 program on Visual Studio Code. So we will see how we can set up PHP 8, that is the current PHP version on VS Code. For that, we will install VS Code as well as we will also set up XAMPP. We will also see that how we can run PHP 8 on XAMPP. After that, we will see how we can run both of them on Visual Studio Code. So let's begin. So PHP 8 released on November 26, 2020. So let's see how we can run it. We will run it using XAMPP on localhost that is on Windows 10 operating system. So let's see. Here in let's first see what is PHP. PHP is it is basically a server side scripting language that is used to create dynamic web pages or you can say dynamic website. So the current version is PHP 8 released on 26 November 2020. So the name PHP is, is like a recursive acronym that is PHP means PHP hypertext P processor. So I told that we'll be using XAMPP. Why? Because XAMPP is a web solution package which will provide us Apache web server. It will also provide us with MySQL or you can say MariaDB. MariaDB or yeah. With that it also provides PHP 8. So XAMPP finally came up with a PHP 8 version. So now we can run PHP 8 on it. So you can see XAMPP X is for cross platform. That is we can use it on Linux, Mac or Windows. A is for Apache web server. M is for MySQL or MariaDB. P is for PHP and the second P is for Perl. This is why we are using XAMPP because it's a web solution package. We can also use VAMP because VAMP is specifically for Windows. But in this video we'll be using XAMPP. If you want to learn how to run PHP on VAMP on localhost on Windows 10, you can refer the link in the description wherein we have added a video. So guys, let's now download and install XAMPP for PHP. That will install all these on its own and we will run a basic PHP 8 program. Let's begin. Go to your browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google, just type XAMPP. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. That is ApacheFrench.org is the official website. Click on it. Now on clicking, the official website is visible. You can see XAMPP is Apache, MariaDB, PHP, Perl. This is what I told you before. It is the most popular PHP development environment. Free, easy to install. And it contains MariaDB, PHP and Perl. So it's a package. Herein, you can see downloads is visible. XAMPP for Windows for PHP 8. Let's click on it to download. We will also add this link in the description so that you can easily download it. So the downloading started on the left. You can see bottom 157 MB. You need to wait for a few seconds for the download to complete. So guides the downloading completed. You can see XAMPP Windows EXE file. Now you can right click here or you can double click to install. I'll double click. Let's minimize this. Guys, you can see the downloading started. Click on next to begin the setup. Now you can see the package. I told you before it will install server, programming languages and MySQL. This looks fine for components. Now click on next. Here the installation folder is C XAMPP folder. If you want to install it somewhere else, you can click on this button which is browse and you can set the location. But I'll keep the default. Under C drive XAMPP folder will get created and all the files will get installed there. Now click on next. Language English, yes, you can change the language from here. I'll keep the same and click on next. Now the installation will start. Click on next. Okay, the setup started. You need to wait for a few seconds for the installation to complete. So the setup is complete now. As you can see, you can click on finish. Now let's see the location where we installed XAMPP. We installed it under C drive. Here it is XAMPP. Click on it. Let's copy this and paste it here. XAMPP location for a record. Now 
let's create a new project go to ST docs now let's create a new project create a new folder I'll write Amit project it's fine now double click so this is our project our website you can say okay now what we'll do I'll just right click and create a new file let's say demo dot I'll just change the extension dot PHP because because PHP file has an extension dot PHP I hope you know I'll keep the cursor here now it will say if you want to change the file name just click on yes now you can see it is a PHP file okay it's written PHP file under type it's written PHP file now let's right click edit with notepad plus plus you can edit with any editor now let's write a sample PHP code I hope you know to run PHP we use this syntax close this now under PHP you can add any code for sample let's say I'll add I'll print something I can use I can use echo or print to output data on screen but echo is somewhat faster than print so I'll use echo just for an example now let's print something first PHP 8 program on localhost Windows 10 now you can also embed HTML in PHP for that under this you can add let's say you can bold this stuff I'll write sample just for an example and I'll just go to file and save it now what is your file name it's demo.php so I'll add I'll add the location file location this is a PHP file that is demo.php you can say PHP file location okay so now we need to run it for that first go to start type XAM control panel here it is click on it we need to start the XAM control panel in this way so that we can start the server so just click on start for Apache in the same row to start the server because we are using Apache server to run XAM on Windows 10 localhost I have clicked on start status chain detector running that means we have successfully installed XAM I'll minimize this go to the browser on browser type localhost press enter if the following is visible that means welcome to XAM that means you have finally successfully installed XAM now guys what we need to do we need to run our project so our project directory was Amit project so herein just type Amit project in place of dashboard and press enter so here you can see our file is visible demo.php because it was available here under Amit project folder just click on it to run you can see the time also we just created it click on it to run so guys here it is we ran our first PHP program successfully here we can add br tag let's add this looks fine we can also add let's say h1 heading because we can embed HTML in it it's fine now go to file and save here just go to browser and refresh okay there is an error we forgot the semicolon it's fine now control s save we will refresh again here you can see our sample projector is running the same is visible here first one was heading one then a text then bold tag heading one text and bold tag so in this way you can easily run your project I'll add the sample link the link here so that you remember how to run PHP 8 on localhost so guys we saw how we can run our first PHP 8 program on localhost using XAM now we will download and install VS code so that we can easily connect both of these and run PHP 8 on VS code Visual Studio code so let's begin with the download and installation of Visual Studio code on Windows 10 so Visual Studio code is a free source code editor that is available for Microsoft Windows Linux as well as Mac OS it is basically used for building and debugging modern web and cloud application because it provides support for debugging syntax highlighting intelligent code completion code refactoring so now let's see how we can download it then we will install it at first go to the browser I am using Chrome you can use any browser 
here in type visual studio code press enter now the official website is visible code.visualstudio.com click on it the following is the official website we will also add this link in the description so that you can easily download it so it has automatically detected that we are downloading for windows you can click on the arrow button for other versions we want for windows only for x64 that is 64 bit os here you can see i'll click on it to download now the downloading should start now the downloading started you can see on the left below just wait for few seconds so guys we have successfully downloaded it the exe file is visible the current version is 1.51 now double click on this minimize so guys the setup started you can read the agreement and click on i accept the agreement then click on next here additional tasks are visible if you want to create an extra icon select this and you can go for other options as well that is open with code options after right click in windows explorer and other options add to path yes keep the default and click on next now ready to install click on install now the installation started you need to wait for few minutes So guys we have successfully installed the setup we have installed visual studio code the same is visible here you can just click on finish it will automatically launch because the check was automatically selected after installing or you can just unselect this and click on finish so it created the desktop shortcut double click to open So guys here it is we have started with video studio code we can maximize it so here in you can add your project folder from here you can add extensions this is for running any project here in open folder is visible and just go to the folder that is the path of folder project folder here it is just copy it let's check it again Here it is, HT Docs and Amit Project folder. We just now created a project. Let's open this folder under under VS Code. Open folder. I'll just paste the path and press Enter. Now I'll just click on Select folder. Now here it is. The PHE file is visible. Our Amit Project demo.php file, the file which we added here. You can see PHE file location. So guys here in we have our PHE project now the file is visible here now go to localhost now you can see the XAM dashboard is visible now if you remember a project name was Amit project so you just need to type Amit project here and press enter now our project is visible click on demo.php so this was our project which we saw before under XAM now let's do some changes i'll add s2 here let's add em4 for, for italic text now save it now let's go to the browser again and refresh and let's see what will happen you can see we have converted h1 h1 heading to s2 we can also add a line here let's say we are adding another line here i'll just copy this paste let's say i'm adding for underline Let's add the underline tag here. First PHP 8 on VS Code. Okay, this looks fine. Go to file, save, and refresh here. Here you can see we have added it. Let's add a line here. Let's say here it is BR. Click on save here. Browser and refresh. Here you can see next line. 
so we added a line as well so we can easily execute our php from here using xamp so guys in this video we saw how we can easily run php and or you can see how we can set up php on vs code we first installed xamp and ran our php program on xamp on windows 10 with localhost after that we saw how we can install vs code then we just connected both of them by adding the folder and we saw how we can run it live so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel Amit Thanks.